Hi, this is Athena Starseed and this is Raising Reverence and um, we are beyond our 40 days into the unknown and uh, I am here in the last hour of the sun and this is my ritual to solar gaze and I'm up to a count of 100. So you do 10 seconds every day and you add 10 seconds and basically all you do is you just gaze right at the sun. And so I say to the sun, I love you a hundred times. I love you one, I love you two, I love you three, I love you four, I love you five. And I say that a hundred times to the sun and then I drink the sun in. And it's almost like my third eye is looking out that portal of the sun. So I'm gonna show it to you, see the sun? Imagine that's the third eye hole and that that is you looking through the inside of your third eye at the tiny, tiny you inside of your own body, mind, consciousness. And if you look to the other side of that, you'd see out of the front of my forehead. <laughs> so I know that's like a little, um, that's a little out there for most people. But what I want you to realize is that everything that's coming in to your eyes is light and then the rods and the cones on the back of the eyes and the brain interprets the signals and then creates the form and the structure that we see in front of us. Um, but if you break it down into its finest form, it's all a light vibration. And that light actually is a frequency and it turns into a sound. And so Michael Fronte would know this because he knows that there's a sound to sunshine. There, there's a sound to sunshine and that's the truth is the sun makes music and the moon makes music and the blades of grass make music and you and I make music and when we raise our reverence the frequency the frequency of the sounds coming off of our body mind consciousness affect the environment around us trees the sky, the birds, everything. Everything is affected by our body's song. And so this series is about what are the things that we can do to raise reverence. The reverence for the self and the reverence for the selves and the reverence for the, reverence for the selves in the body and the reverence for light and being light. That's why it's light body fitness. You lighten up your body. You lighten up your emotions. You lighten up your mind. You lighten up your physical body uh, temple. This is a temple. The body temple needs to be infused and imbued with light on a daily basis. And that's what this solar gazing is about. It's taking a moment out of your normal routine and focusing specifically on light. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a moment out of my day to specifically focus on light.
I had a miracle happen today. Um, <laughs> I don't want to get too personal, but somebody contacted me that hasn't been in touch with me for a, a while. And I'll just say this, every morning when I do the Light Body Fitness Boot Camp, and I, it's not really a boot camp, but I'm from a boot camp background, so I call it a boot camp, but it's just, it's just a workout program. I do asanas every day, and I do an asana for my mother's lineage, clearing the mother all the way down, and then the history of the several generations back. And then I do an asana for the fathers, all the fathers from forward and back generations. And then I do an asana for the children, and the stewards of the earth, and the children's children, seven generations forward. And then I do an asana for the angels and the angelics, the sages, the siddhars, the saints, the yogis, the avatars, the mahatmas, which means great. Uh, anybody with a message from heaven, anybody with a high message that wants to share light with other people. So I pour light into my body and then that light radiates off my body and I have more than enough to share more than enough light to flow into my friends and my family and strangers dreams hopes wishes desires I easily effortlessly graciously gratefully galactically love sharing my gifts with the other beings and each time I do that um, I get flooded with even more light. Light goes out, light comes in. Light goes out, light comes in. Light goes out, and it's just like a flowing river of grace that you can't outgive God ever. You can never outgive God. So, anytime you think that you can't give, give anyway, and watch what happens. It's just an exercise. When I feel poor, I give. That's the fastest way to replenish is that you empty a bowl and then the bowl gets filled back up. Anybody experience that? Empty your bowl. Share. Share your porridge, people. Share your porridge. Yep. For me, that's one of the highest things I do with reverence when I raise it is I share my porridge. This is Athena star seed. This is raising reverence. Stay tuned.